as stated in John chapter 4, uh, verse 14, of our text that we have seen and testified that the Father has sent the Son to be the Savior of the world. <clears throat> Which is celebrated tonight. The indwelling God whose presence is manifested in the midst of a loving Christian community thus becomes in a very real sense truly visible to the eyes of faith. Because he lives in us. And because he lives in us, love is in us. Though no one has seen God, believers who abide in him have seen the Son as he is a manifestation among loving Christians like you and I. Christians who behold this manifestation have in fact seen and testified to the fundamental truth that the Father has sent the Son to be the Savior of the world. That's love. That's love. The great truth can be put on display through the eternal medium of Christian love. Nothing more. You know, you talk about joy and peace and happiness and kindness, and all of these things are held up by love. Right? The fruit of the Spirit. All are held up by love. And love is the only eternal of all love. Living in the environment of mutual Christian love produces a personal knowledge of God's love and a fresh experience of faith in that love. That means we treat everyone like God treats us in love. Since God is love, those of us who live in love live in God and God is abiding in us. Remember this. If the life of God is present in us, then the love of God will always be in us. Love is not always easy, is it? Yet, love is the most attractive and wonderful thing in this world because it is of God and because God is love. Love takes all kinds and all conditions without, without looking for merit on the part of those who will be in love. That is the love of God. How do we know God is love? The only reason we know that God is love is because he sent his only son to pay the price for our sins on the cross at Calvary. And that was the ultimate demonstration of love, wasn't it? When we were enemies, he died for us. In this love, not that we love God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the atoning sacrifice for our sins. We again observe the character of love. What kind of love is it? It is the love for the world that's found in John chapter 3, verse 16. And he said, God so loved the world. Why the world? What world? What world are we talking about? Part, what part of the world are we talking about? The world is made up of men, women, and children, just like you and I here tonight. He loved the world. But sometimes we get angry, don't we? Sometimes we get upset, sometimes we're stubborn, sometimes we're rude. And then, some have the audacity to hate. And they make our blood boil, doesn't it? Our tempers rise, or we burn, and we struggle within.
an open park. But if God is dwelling in you, then his love is exhibited through you, right? And so people can see the face of the Lord in you and your love. You know, when we act these, you know, like, like we do, we're struggling and all those things, but what kind of response do you think God has for us? What kind of response will come from Him? Is it anger? Is it rejection? Is it judgment? Did He pour out the fires of wrath upon this world so of it? No. He responded with the most costly of all loves. He gave Himself. For us. Is that love or what? How is your love stacking up against that love? How is it? He did it so that all the chains of fear and hate and evil which bind us and shackle us might be broken. These powerful forces within us might be subdued and brought under control. And so our quarreling, our bickering, and our abuse between Christians and other believers would evaporate, would be gone. All because of what? Love. Love. That is why you came. That it all might be replaced with love in order that we might live you and I. That is the sign of love, isn't it? When we believe and confess that Jesus is the Son of God, it proves that God's life is in us. Where His life is, His love will be. Because love always follows the life of God. Because God is love. Therefore, we will love. Is in us, we can't help but love. If He's in us, that is what God's love is, and that is how it is produced. It comes from Him through us. It is my prayer that the love of God is living in each one of us here tonight, not just tonight, but each day of our lives. Gloria.